everything. 255 here, what up? You know, when I woke up this morning, I thought to myself, I can't wait to see Rose as a DLC character in Street Fighter V. This is really exciting. I, I really can't wait for that to happen. Didn't you think that too when you woke up? I'm betting that you didn't. I'm also betting that you didn't care about a new stage in Street Fighter V. Cause Street Fighter V has plenty of new stages and it has plenty of new characters. And this game doesn't need new characters and new stages. They spent a whole darn near two hour or 30 minute stream talking about all these new gameplay mechanics and all this stuff I didn't hear nothing about netcode nothing nothing see Capcom you got us last time when you dropped Street Fighter Championship Edition I felt some surge of hope it had Gil it had Seth you know you included a lot of costumes all the characters and I was like okay it's the final one you know and then I bought the game and I couldn't play any online matches. I know you're all playing my therapist right now and you should because DeepMind is tired. I'm sure you are too, DeepMind. But Rose, yeah. Rose is what tickles your fancy in the morning. Whoa, Rose! When she first came out in Street Fighter Alpha. Yeah. That was exciting. I liked her design. Her design here and Street Fighter V, I don't like it so much. I don't know how they keep creating these horrendous character models, but they do. And look, if you just saw the intro, you should know that I love Capcom. I love Capcom a lot, which is why I'm pretty upset about this. Um, I'm glad that they uh, have brought actors in here to do martial arts, Yuka Hino. And Akira Sagagura. Sorry for messing up the name. This is great. You know what I mean? This is really wonderful. But uh, something tells me that they should be focused on that code. If I can't get any matches, I don't really care. Now, later on in this video, I saw some things that gave me a little bit of hope. But if I can't get matches and I have the Ethernet cord, I'm not going to care. So let's get to that, shall we? Now, Dan showed me some of that old Street Fighter flair that I was looking forward to. Great character model. Maximilian talked about how this might be another SNK reference. Clearly, it is Mr. Karate. Maybe there's going to be some SNK. Street Fighter V, SNK versus Capcom again. That's a dream match, but in Capcom's current condition, I wouldn't be excited for it. Let's just be honest. We haven't even got Tekken versus uh, Street Fighter, the Namco version, because Street Fighter and Capcom's been in such bad review. Anyway, Cap Dan looks good. Am I going to buy him, though? Like, I bought the Championship Edition. I'm going to say maybe, maybe not. Right? Because, let's be honest, with the exception of Akuma in the hands of Tokido and a few other great players, Shotos were not doing that good. And then they nerfed Goki, and he continued not to do good. So, I'm going to buy this character, probably not getting any matches, and then still online. Uh, the season pass doesn't excite me, maybe the guest character. Later on, they dropped 11. I'm sure you were all excited for that, right? Right. Uh, anyway, I'll say that day looks pretty cool, but all this flair and these interesting mechanics and all this classic Capcom fun and innovation that I expect from Capcom, I don't know, maybe it's about five years too late. I wish this game did not come out with such a bitter taste. I think you all remember what happened back then when we got that bare bones game and you hit the start button and you saw the character roster and you played that torture mode called survival 
and your line wasn't working correctly and you were just like yo this is not alpha three this is not third strike what is this garbage I could talk about all these new game mechanics, but there are plenty of videos doing that, so I'm not really here to do that. This is more of a, a rant. Street Fighter 6? Let's talk about Street Fighter 6 for a moment. <clears throat> Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6 is going to need a lot of new characters. Because Street Fighter can't just do what it plain old does. I really think that this new mechanic that we're seeing is V-Shift. And they have to call it a V-Shift. But they should have left these new parts of this mechanic um, for Street Fighter 6. Because Street Fighter 6 is going to need a lot of innovation. A lot of new mechanics. Because it's got a lot of good competition. A lot right now. Guilty Gear Strive. Dragon Ball Fighters. God forbid to make a part 2. They can probably do a season 5 or 6 I like Dragon Ball Z because they have plenty of interesting characters and good games. Uh, mechanics are fun. Um, King of Fighters is coming out. But Street Fighter 6, I think the route that Street Fighter 6 needs to go is lots of new characters. Yes, bring in the DLC characters, but you really need a new cast. Throw in a couple of classics there, but you need a lot of new cast of characters that just wow and throw everybody out. That's what's gonna make Street Fighter VI a huge success. I don't think coming out with just a regular group of world warriors and having them do whatever is gonna be enough. Um, we've seen Ryu, Ken, Chung Lee, Dal Simi, Honda, Sagat, Bison, Vega, Barlog all do enough different versions of themselves from Street Fighter Turbo 2 until Street Fighter 5. So this game needs new characters. As for this winter <sighs> update. That has been here for six months. They had the Dota game mechanic. I'm not really wild by this. I've been wild by this if they dropped this maybe two or three years ago. I might have been wild by this if they dropped this maybe after they said they were gonna give us regular updates like six months to a year ago. They didn't give us anything regularly. But to be excited by this now, we literally know that Street Fighter Six is coming out probably at the end of this year. So you're gonna give us a brand new game mechanic. Drop five new characters, plus 11's whack behind, um, and th and then we're gonna buy Street Fighter Six. Come on, Capcom, you can do better. You can do better. Anyway, I will try to pick up Street Fighter Five again. Uh, I can't make any promises about whether I will you know, put it on the channel. I'll definitely discuss it. I might play it, but uh, anyway, leave a comment below. I know I'm ranting, but I am not ranting as an anti-Capcom guy. I am ranting as someone who grew up on Capcom, okay? Who played all the Capcom games, even the ones that we don't hear about so much, like Tech Romancer, okay? Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, you know. Of course, I played the crossover X-Men vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2. I even bought that stupid Street Fighter movie, so I am speaking as an aggravated fan of the series and maybe what I've had to say has uh, hit home for you too. Anyway, this is just a little bit of real talk with 255. Much love to y'all. I'm out. One.